As I've covered many times on the channel before, the UK has lost most of its large wild animals. The UK used to be home to lynx, wolves and bears. But today the largest land predator in the UK is the European badger. The majority of Britain's land predators went extinct hundreds of years ago, and this was mostly due down to hunting. Thankfully, not all large land animals have gone extinct in the UK, as there is still quite a healthy population of deer. The UK is home to six different species of deer, but only two of these are indigenous. The other four species have been introduced over the years, and over time they have become established. In today's video, I will be going through all six of these deer species, and we'll start off with the two native species. The red deer is one of the largest deer species in the world, and it can be found over large parts of Europe. It has also been introduced into other countries around the world, such as Australia, New Zealand, the United States, Canada, and large parts of South America. This species can be found over large parts of the UK, but one of its major strongholds is Scotland. This deer is the largest species in the UK, as it stands around 1.37 metres at the shoulder, and it can weigh in at 225 kilograms. The males are not to be messed with during the rut, where they fight for territory and fight over females. Males often injure each other during this period, and when the spring comes around usually a single calf is born. These deer prefer to live on moorland and mountainsides, and this is why they're one of the most popular deer in the UK to go and see. They're relatively easy to spot, and they really are quite majestic creatures. As all of their natural predators have gone extinct in the UK, they have little to fear, and man is their only predator. The other native deer species in the UK is the roe deer, and this deer is quite a bit smaller than the red deer. They can stand at around 75 centimeters at the shoulder, and they max out at around 25 kilograms. The roe deer is the most common native deer in the UK, and they are a mostly solitary species. They are found over the vast majority of the UK, but they are absent from some parts of Wales and Northern Ireland. Their coats vary throughout the year, but they appear most striking in the summer, when their coat is a rusty red colour. Both the male and the female roe deer can bark when they're alarmed, and it's quite an interesting sound for a deer to make. Other deer species can make similar sounds, so if you're out on a walk and you hear a bark, it's not necessarily a dog. These deer are most often found in mixed areas of woodland, farmland and grassland, and they've proven to be a very adaptable species. Now we've taken a look at the two native species of deer in the UK, we can move on to the deer species that have been introduced. The fallow deer is a very beautiful species of deer, and it's historically native to Turkey and the Italian and Balkan peninsulas. It is a relatively large deer and can stand up to 1.2 meters at the shoulder, and they max out at around 95 kilograms. This species can be found over large parts of the UK, but the majority of them are found in England. This deer is known for its iconic spotted coat, yet their coat changes with the seasons. These deer were first brought to Britain from the western Mediterranean during the Roman period, and they were mostly kept in enclosures and in deer parks. These deer went extinct in Britain following the collapse of the Roman Empire, but eventually they were reintroduced in the 11th century from the eastern Mediterranean. Originally they were only kept in deer parks, but eventually they found their way into the wild, and even though they are non-native, they are considered naturalised. I think it's safe to say that the fallow deer is one of the most beautiful species of deer in the UK, and they do have a very interesting history. The next introduced deer we will be taking a look at is the Sika deer. The Sika deer is also known as the Japanese deer, and it does originate from Japan and other parts of East Asia. Today it can be found over large parts of the UK, but it seems to have a stronghold in Northern Ireland and Scotland. Just like the fallow deer, the seeker deer is known for having a spotted coat, but it is a little bit smaller than the fallow deer. They stand around 95 centimeters at the shoulder, and they can weigh up to 70 kilograms. These deer were introduced into Britain from Asia in 1860, and at first they were kept in deer parks. Eventually some of these deer escaped and multiplied in the wild, and as there are no large predators in the UK, I'm sure that they enjoyed their new home. In some areas, such as Scotland, they can cause problems, as they have been known to hybridise with red deer. 
These hybrids are found in areas where the ranges of seeker deer and red deer overlap, and the UK is one of the few places where these hybrids naturally occur. Strangely, these deer aren't the only deer in the UK that originate from Asia, as our final two species can be found in China and Korea. The Chinese muntjac is arguably the most interesting species of deer in the UK, and this is mostly due down to its size and appearance. The muntjac is the smallest species of deer in the UK, and it is also quite stocky. It measures around 55 centimeters at the shoulder, and it can weigh up to 18 kilograms. Not only is the muntjac not native to the UK, but since 2019 they have also been classified as an invasive species. These deer were first introduced into the UK from China in the 20th century, and they were kept in Woburn Park in Bedfordshire. Some were deliberately released from Woburn, and some individuals escaped. Today they are now widespread and they are increasing in number, but they're mostly limited to England. As these deer are so small, they're very elusive, and just like the roe deer, they are able to bark. The muntjac is a mostly solitary species, and only really causes damage by feeding on crops and breaking into allotments. As this species is so small, they are considered to be the cutest deer in the UK, and I was personally shocked when I spotted one recently. The final species of deer we will be taking a look at is possibly the strangest, and it's known as the water deer. The water deer has two subspecies, the Chinese water deer and the Korean water deer. The Chinese water deer is the subspecies that's found in the UK, and they're only found in central and eastern England. These deer were first kept at London Zoo in 1873, but some escaped from Whipsnade Zoo in 1929. Their numbers increased through introductions at deer parks, and today the British population is thought to account for around 10% of the world's total. As you might be able to guess from their name, they prefer wetland habitats, but they can also be found in open woodlands. They are sometimes referred to as the vampire deer, and this is all because of their large canine teeth. These teeth can measure up to 8 centimeters long, and they're used as weapons when the males fight. The Chinese water deer is another relatively small species, as they measure up to 65 centimeters at the shoulder, and they can weigh up to 18 kilograms. They have quite a thick fur that gives them a teddy bear-like appearance, and this is part of the reason why they are so loved. You could argue that the reindeer should be on this list, as the UK is home to a few wild reindeer. These reindeer can be found in Scotland, and there are around 150 individuals. This is Britain's only free-ranging herd of reindeer, but as they are tame, I wouldn't class them as truly wild. This is why I haven't included them on the list, but the UK is technically home to reindeer too. Let me know which of these deer species is your favourite down in the comments below, and I'd be interested to find out if anyone had seen all of these species in the UK. But for now, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.